In Creo 10.0, we've added more result options for Creo Simulation Live for both fluids and structure studies. Let's first take a look at the new vector options in fluids. I'll go ahead and click Simulate, and I can see my default surface velocity results. Let me turn that off and turn on vectors. Here I can now see my velocities displayed as vectors by gradient. You have many vector options to choose from to improve the visualization of this simulation. You can control the count, the width, and tail length of the vectors. You can also choose to see the vectors by magnitude instead of by gradient. And lastly, you can show this display as straight vectors instead of the default of curved. Straight vectors can also be controlled by count and arrow size. Each of these vector displays can be animated to show you an amazing display of how the fluid flow is happening and identify any problematic areas. Let's now switch to structure to show what is new over there. In Creo 10, you can now display strain results and contact stresses. Since this is only one part model, we don't have any contact stresses. For strain, we simply select either directional, shear, or principal strain results. Strain has been a user requested enhancement since the beginning of CSL, and now we have it implemented. In our next release of Creo, we plan to continue to add more result options for CSL to further adoption and increase capabilities and the value our customers achieve.